Hi, in this video, I will talk about acid-base reactions in organic chemistry. So an acid-base reaction is a proton transfer reaction, where an acid donates a proton and a base accepts this proton. Of course, this uh, definition for acid-base reaction is based on the branched lorry definition, which defines acids as proton donors and bases as proton acceptors. So in this case here, we can see that B is acting as a base because after the reaction, B accepted H+, whereas HA is acting as an acid because it donated H+, and it become A-. minus. Now always remember that a base will be converted into a conjugate acid on the other side, and an acid will be converted into a conjugate base on the other side. And this is what we call the acid-base couple, which is usually written as HA, A minus, and then BHA plus, B, because we have to always start with the acid, and then the base. So this is called the acid-base pair or the acid-base couple. So how do, how do we know if, there is, if this is an acid-base reaction or not? You just have to look at the equation of the reaction, compare the structure or the formula of the, as, uh, of the reactants before and after the reaction. And if you notice that there is a proton exchange process, then this means that the reaction is an acid-base reaction. If not, then this is not an acid-base reaction. For example, in this case, if I compare the structure of this compound to its structure after the reaction, I can see that this compound actually lost one hydrogen. And if I looked at the second compound, which is the NH2 minus, I can see that NH2 minus actually gained H plus and it became NH3. So we can say that one hydrogen was transferred, one proton was transferred from this compound to this compound. And that's why this is a proton exchange process and this is an acid-base reaction. Let's take another example. Again, this is another example. You were given this equation and you will ask whether this is an acid-base reaction or not. Again, following the same solving strategy, I will compare the structure before and after the reaction. Before and after. If I compare the structure here, I can say that the only thing which happened is exchanging Cl with OH. And the second one, same thing happens. We exchanged OH by Cl. So I cannot say at this point that there is a proton exchange. We actually, we don't have a proton exchange process. There was an exchange between the OH and the Cl groups. Since this is not a proton exchange process, then this reaction cannot be considered as an acid-base reaction. These are another two examples which we can go over. You can stop the video and check your answers or you can keep watching for example again comparing the structure of cha3 and h2 before and after i am, can see that this compound actually gained a hydrogen here so we have three hydrogens instead of two hno3 became no3 minus and this indicates that this compound actually lost a hydrogen so again we have proton transfer process hno3 lost one hydrogen CH3 and H2 gained one hydrogen. So this is a proton exchange process and this is an acid-base reaction. If you look at the second example, let's see. So we have OH here, we have a BR, and then we have HBR, which became H2O. Again, this is not a proton exchange process because actually we replaced the OH by a BR and the BR here by OH group and that's why no this is not an acid base reaction because this is not a, 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 a proton transfer process. The other thing that we have to um, pay attention to is how do we identify acids and bases in a reaction so how do I know if this is an acid or a base if the equation of the reaction is already written. In this case, you just have to look at 
which of the two reactants lost the hydrogen and this will be the acid and which one gained the hydrogen and this will be the base so for example in this case here i can see that hclo4 becomes clo4 minus so it lost one hydrogen ethyl oh it accepted one h plus so it gained one h and that's why hclo4 is the acid because it gained it uh, it lost h plus and ethanol or ethyl oh is the base because it accepted h plus so this is how we identify acids and bases if the equation of the reaction is already given this is another example now we have more complicated structures usually organic compounds so again if i compare the structure of this compound to this one i can clearly see that this compound actually lost one hydrogen and it became ch2 minus and this compound which is triethylamine it accepted h plus so again this is losing h plus and this is gaining h plus and that's why this is considered as the acid and this one is sorry this one is gaining and that's why this is considered as the base so this is the acid this is the base again if we look at these two equations we can see that in the first equation ch3 and h2 accepted an h plus so this is the base hno3 lost an h plus so this is the acid in this example here if we compare the structure for this compound before and after i can see that this compound actually donated one of its hydrogen so this is an acid whereas h minus accepted another hydrogen to become h2 and that's why this is a base